An educational comedy. It's not a cause. Not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on. It's an idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. It's a genuine expression. So critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, we and those are bound to be bruised. With our silly, strange, politically incorrect. Your own adult style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty. honesty. Which invites you to be to the fullest. This is my third take trying to record this thing, so when I slip up and goof, I'm not going to stop and re-record and do it all over again. I'm just going to back up, correct myself, and proceed forward, because screw it, I'm, I'm tired of doing take after take. Okay. I digress. This video is not going to say anything different than what I've said in my other videos. But I have formatted it so that it resonates most strongly with Christians. It's not a different song, I'm just playing it in another genre. From jazz to rock, or from folk to techno. When Christians today think about the words of Christ, as he says that not only do we all have his power to manifest whatever reality we want, but even greater still than his works, Folks tend to stuff that idea into some far-flung science fiction future where everyone gets along with each other. Bunnies and unicorns are dancing around and Buddy Christ is approving of the whole thing with a big huge grin and a big thumbs up. What they do not realize is that Christ is telling us that we are using this power every second of every day. This power is fueled by our faith. So, what do we have faith in? Well, seeing as the world becomes what we have faith in, let's take a look around and see the result. War, genocide, disease, suffering, misery, criminality, slavery, hopelessness, and so on. We've used this power of Christ that is always active and never ceases to create hell on earth. Jesus came to us to say that no heartless toddler God is going to be throwing anyone into a pit of fire. That we have thrown ourselves into the fire right here and right now. He came here to save us by showing us how malleable reality is, with the hope that we would follow his example. Instead, we crucify him, ignore his message, and continue to create hell on earth. We have even turned his message into hell. We twist it and distort it into blindly believe in the social title called Christ or you'll be tossed into a pit of fire for all eternity because Christ gets really pissed off really easily. So don't fuck with the Jesus! So what are the strongest beliefs in your life? You want to say Love, and Jesus, and bunnies, and kitties. But you know deep down that you're lying to yourself in order to avoid facing the pain of knowing that you've been told a lie. We judge, so we see reality reflect back to us as a judgmental world. We hate, so we see a hateful world. We disrespect the rights of others to be who they are. 
So we get others trying to force us to live a lie and be someone else. We want to appease, backtrack, we want others to appease, yeah, there we go, so let's third take, same thing here. <coughs> we want others to appease us and for ourselves to appease them. So we've created a world that has a really hard time understanding what unconditional love even is, much less bringing it about. Quantum physics has proven that the power of Christ flows through and animates everything. It has shown us how the wave function is collapsed into particle state from its previous state of superposition or, if you'd prefer, from God's position. God says take this infinite position and create whatever you want from it, as you are all sons and daughters of God. Superposition is just a way of saying all potentials exist at once. This is also what Jesus said. Jesus said, through thanks and appreciation, we create heaven on earth, and through judgment and depravity, we create hell on earth. View the negative circumstances as a positive opportunity for positive change, and you will wield Christ's power on earth in a more loving way. Or you can continue to do what we've been doing, and wield Christ's power on earth to create the cesspool of judgment and contempt that it's been for thousands of years. Maybe instead of asking what Jesus would do, ask yourself what you are doing with his power. Ask yourself if you want to keep using it to create a reality for yourself of drama and suffering, or if you might be willing to empty your cup of assumptions and let it be filled with the glory of God's superposition. Quantum physics proves God's love and God's lack of judgment. So you can either research further into this science, or you can close your ears, cover your eyes, and say, Dave, you're a delusional nut. God respects your free will, and so do I. So as you will, so will you create with the power that Christ himself has told you that you do indeed have and that you use every second of every day.